Hey everyone, so this is a different type of video that I've ever done in about six years I've been streaming or creating content. To get it out the way, no, I'm not stopping streaming and I'm not stopping making content. If anything, I'm planning on making more. Since I've started streaming, I've nearly always used a face cam while live. I've never really been confident with how I look and, and have been pretty hard on myself at times. I sort of just started since that's what everyone does, and I fought myself on going faceless or stopping a cam, and even have done a few playthroughs or series with none. Personally, I've always watched more series without a cam too. Streamers like Lyric or YouTubers like Rad Brad have been my go-to for gameplay or even trying to learn how to commentate. I've done my research back and forth and even found creators that used cams to help me convince myself to stick with it and just maybe it'll be worth it in the end. There really is no true answer or right or wrong answer at the end of the day. It's really 50 to 50. Well, I think I'm finally going to push through and turn off the cam at least for now. My first official playthrough with no cam is most likely going to start with Payday 3, Cyberpunk's update, and potentially even Motorfest in the next few days. So why make this decision now? One of the biggest reasons I wanted to go faceless is because I can more easily take the footage of gameplay and cut it down for other videos. Whether it's reviews, tips, how-to guides, or whatever else, yeah, I could do it with my cam, but I feel like those types of videos are a lot cleaner, just solely gameplay and commentary on what exactly the topic of the video actually is. Another reason, like I mentioned, is I've done a few series without a cam in the past, and those series are some of my most watched videos and series on YouTube as a whole. Ready or Not, Enlisted, Vampire Blood Hunt, and a few more. Only one video within my top 10 most popular on YouTube has a cam in it. The rest are over two years old, and all of them have no cam. Those are really my two biggest reasons and why I'm making the change. I think just being immersed in the game and communicating with chat will just be a lot better of an experience too. And on top of it, my camera doesn't have to get in the way of any UI inside of most games. I don't have to stare at myself or subconsciously think how I look, and this gives me time to work on myself too, be more positive, and push myself to get into a comfortable weight for when I do turn on the camera. The biggest thing I will miss though is the reaction timing or clips that sometimes come out. If I'm honest though, 90% of the time, I just have a blank stare on my face or smile and I'm just sitting there watching the game myself. This might not be permanent anyways. I may still do reaction trailer videos here and there or even co-stream gaming events like the game awards or summer game fests for reveals. For those, I would put the camera on. To some people, this probably means nothing, and honestly, I'm okay with that. If you just want solid content, I totally get that and I agree. I know there are some people that do prefer the cam too, and I'm absolutely going to get the where's your cam, the first few streams, or returning viewers that haven't been around in a while. I can only hope that they stick around too just as much. I figured I'd finally say something because these are things and thoughts I constantly have. Over the last year or two, I've been trying to take YouTube a lot more seriously, especially while being offline, so I'm hoping this can help the channel grow even further too. Either way, I do appreciate all 7,000 of you. I still remember getting my first 1k subs and here we are with 7k. I really don't believe it at times. One final thing with this change is I am reverting to my old logo again, but with the new look to it in the next few days. I've always had this like fox slash cat icon a friend designed for me a few years ago, so I figured it was time for a little upgrade without changing too much. So if you do see this change, don't worry still me just new logo front and center so yeah that's what's changing nothing else same stream time 6 30 p.m eastern for weekdays 9 a.m eastern on weekends whether you've recently subbed or you've been watching for a while i just want to take the time and say thank you seriously thank you every day i get done my job i look forward to playing games and sharing my experiences with chat Seeing the chat move faster during epic moments or laughing together really makes me happy. Not every day is action fact, but every day is still a fun time for me. And that's really it. Again, thank you all for watching. If you stuck around this long in the video too, I really do appreciate you. I hope to see you all in chat sometime soon. Peace.